Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Utz brand items. These are the Dipper Sticks pretzels. And I have the pretzel dippers. How do you master? The dip was $5.99. The pretzels were $3.99. And we found them both at Kroger. And the only reason I even knew to look for this is because Adrian let me know on Instagram that this was out. And so, uh, because I hadn't seen them. Now, when we, we found the dip first, and I was like, now, what should we try this with? Because, I mean, it does show a picture of a pretzel on there. Yeah, pretzel dips. But the placement was just interesting in Kroger because the dips, you know, they have chips at the top, chips at the bottom, and the dips are usually lined up in the middle. The dip was, like, way down here, and then the pretzels were way down there. So, it's like they weren't together. Yeah, they didn't put them together. They put these near, like, the tortilla chip. Yeah, so it's like, I wish they would put them more together so that people would, you know, be like, oh, I can buy that and that. Mm -hmm. um, so... Uh, I mean, he's very specific to say it. That's pretzel dips. They do. So. It would just be nice if they were on oh, yeah, the agree. same area. Yeah. I'm so, just saying, if you want to know what the dip is in, it's pretzels, usually. Right. So, this is uh, Utz Dipper Sticks Pretzels. Have all the pretzel flavor and crunch you crave in the perfect size and shape to get a handle on your dipping or enjoying straight from the bag. Uh, these are made in Hanover, Pennsylvania. It's www.utzsnacks.com. 16 servings in the container. One ounce, 28 grams, about six pretzels are 100 calories. This is pretty good. Because they don't look tiny. 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 That's a little bitty one, you know. Yeah, that's a pretty decent size. Yeah, so so you could have six. That's how big they are. If you have a really long <laughs> middle finger. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a little one since we're just trying to that's climb. What I do. Actually a nice pretzel. It's got some good salt. Good crunch without being hard. Nice. It has a nice baked flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice toasted. It's toasty. Like, some of my favorite pretzels are the Snyders mm. of Hanover. Mm. But they're the sourdough ones, and they're kind of hard and dense. Mm -hmm. These are more of a traditional pretzel, which are, are fluffy and crunchy. They have a good amount of salt. Mm -hmm. um, I would I, like I would want to dip these. And I mean, they're showing you dipping them. Um, I would definitely want to dip them because, for me... Some people, pretzels is their go-to snack. I have been spoiled by the flavored mm -hmm. pretzels that they've, you know, the, the garlic and the Parmesan and all that. So, I want all that, the powder on them. So, for me, the, uh, I'm always going to dip these Little because plain. it's plain. Yeah. yeah. I, um, like, I like them. I like the salt. I do like them too. I'm just letting you know I personally will dip them. Yeah. Um, so, we have the Utz Pretzel Dips Honey Mustard Flavor. Kevin loves his honey mustard. Uh, two tablespoons, 30 grams is 110 calories. Yeah, not a low calorie it, dip. It says refrigerate <laughs> after opening. So, <coughs> Ow, that hurt. <laughs> okay, well, you can take, you can, ooh. Ooh. It looks thick. Ooh, it smells good. Good. Mm, it smells mustardy. Mm hmm. No, oh, wow. I get this. This hit. The mustard just not hit me. Now, would you normally pour this out into a bowl? Um, I'm not going to double dip anyway, so, mm -hmm. so probably not. <laughs> mm. To me, that tastes very mayonnaise y. It, it tastes like. It is a very strong mayonnaise. It tastes heavy on like. the mayonnaise. And it doesn't taste like our mayonnaise. That tastes more like a Hellman's, um, like a Hellman's. It's very sweet though. Do you get that sweetness from the, like the, the honey? Stop this a little for just a second. You gonna shake it? Oh. No. I thought he was gonna shake it, shake it or something. <laughs> you don't need to shake it. No, no, no. No, no, I was going to look at what the ingredients were. Of course, I can't see it because it's really tiny. Um, white wine, salt, vinegar, paprika, 
mustard, brown sugar. Yeah, that's what's giving us sweetness. I don't actually see honey in here anywhere. <laughs> I think Kevin and I are going to differ um, on that. I do not like that at all. Not even a little bit do I like it. Um, it does not taste like um, honey mustard that I'm used to. Do you think that tastes like traditional honey no. mustard? I don't think I'll that tell you it what does at all. It, it just is very heavy on that. Like more like a salad dressing. That's exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, it's it's like a salad dressing and not a real mm -hmm. mayonnaise. We buy mayonnaise. We don't buy a salad dressing. Well, I, we, I literally mean this tastes like a salad dressing. I recently had a salad at a restaurant with honey mustard. Uh -huh. And that tastes this like This is that. exactly <laughs> like it. It's a thicker texture mm -hmm. and it is more mayonnaise-y kind of base. Mm -hmm. It does taste like a mayonnaise or yeah. salad dressing kind of flavor. Um, they went a little light, too light. I was worried about the mustard being too strong. I think they went a little too light on that. <laughs> okay. They, um, yeah, they didn't. And it doesn't good. have that honey flavor. It does have a sweet flavor, but it's not honey. It's the brown sugar. They so eat. you think that would make a good salad dressing? I think this would make an excellent salad dressing. Um, it might even taste good if you dip your chicken in it. I can see that. Because the flavor of chicken will be different than a pretzel. Okay, I can see that doing that with chicken. Uh, it would probably work with chicken. Yeah, I've not never, baking it with the chicken, but dipping your chicken in it. I've never been a salad dressing person, but now there's people, I mean, they're still selling it, so people are buying it. Somebody likes salad, like salad dressing, dressing yeah. but we buy mayonnaise. And so if you are used to buying salad dressing, then you will probably like that. Mm -hmm. But um, Adrian's the one that told me about this and I'm thinking where she's at, probably Duke's is really popular. I don't know, but that's real mayonnaise. So I don't know how well that's gonna go over. No, like I said, if you pour that on an actual lettuce salad, I mm -hmm. think it'll be it'll be excellent. Right, with <laughs> some bacon bits. Yeah, I mean, and, it would yeah. be awesome, because I, I love mm -hmm. it. That's why I order in restaurants is honey mustard dressing. Right. And um, I love it. So that would be really good on a salad. But, but I do not like it with pretzels. Dipping it with pretzels, mm -hmm. I think it just doesn't go hundred percent. No, it needs and it's to be more, so funny. It needs to be more mustardy. Yes. To dip on pretzels. Oh yeah, I love mustard. But it's so funny to me that the, the company they make these clearly they I mean that does that looks like cheese. That really. looks like cheese. It, it does. does look like cheese. But I mean could be mustard. Yeah, clearly they, they <coughs> put the, the the pretzel stick on the, the front of that. Yeah, they they want you to dip pretzels. They want you to dip pretzels in them. I just don't think it goes together. No. Well it just needs to be stronger. Yeah. You need to have that little kick of vinegar in there, which is usually what honey mustard has in there. You get sweet and you get mustard. This is not it. Right. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.